where you just did everything right. And this is where you get in trouble, young men. <laughs> you think that you got it all figured out and then you have a losing trade. And it might not even be a significant loss. It might be something so small, half a percent or whatever. You save the stop from getting hit full on. Like you had a 1% risk or a 2% risk and you saved it from getting knocked out, but still it's a loss. Now, you're not looking at the fact that you were able to mitigate the total 1% or 2% hit to your account because you protected the stop loss. You saw it was going to turn on you. You closed it before it went to your stop. That's commendable. That's a skill set, not to promote the idea of paranoia, but if you're beginning to trade with live funds, if you do that initially and you are aggressive about cutting your losses, that alone would probably keep you alive long enough to you find a way to grind through the adversities because when you get a real good winning trade it doesn't wait around it just takes off it just runs but the problem with this business is you want to second guess yourself so much because you're trying to avoid losing this is the number one characteristic of a losing trader you're willing to hold on to a losing or questionable trade Come hell or high water, you'll hold that. It isn't moving like you wanted it to, but damn it, you're not letting go of it. Because what happens if you close it and it runs in your favor? <laughs> what happens if you're fucking wrong and you just held onto it too long? That's what usually happens. See, if your trade is right, it's gonna show you right away. Well, the perception of others about them that's what they that's what they're trying to have new equity 